Yo, what's up guys, we're at 20 wins in the global tournament now. So in the last video, we picked all of the cheapest cards for each draft. So in this video, we're going to be doing the complete opposite and just picking all of the most expensive cards. And yeah, as I said in the last video as well, like right here, if there's two cards that are both at the same elixir count that is at the highest, then we're just going to pick whatever one uh, we think is better. So here I'm going to go Dark Goblin. I think it's a really solid and versatile card in draft. And Tombstone, so we can have at least a building to help out on defense. And Elixir Collector. So not really the optimal building, like an Elixir Collector, because normally your opponent is going to have a big spell. But yeah, he's taking a while to draft his cards, so let's just go on to when the game starts. Alright, so we have an interesting hand here. Don't have too good of a card to cycle, but I guess we could just place Tombstone. I don't really want to overcommit with the Goblin Giant in the back or anything before I know what he has. So I guess we can go Elixir Collector, since it's probably just going to bait out his big spell so we can see what it is. Um, he's actually going to spam us with Royal Giant. So I'm just going to go Witch on that, and we might have to... I'm going to nail that back. If we win Dark Goblin, I think the RG would have got like a couple more hits on tower. So I think this is probably better here. And the Fly Machine will end to the Witch. I'm going to go in with a uh, Gob Giant at the bridge here. Maybe get some good damage depending on what he has. So Nightwish, that should die to my uh, Spear Goblins and the Dark Goblin. Okay, the Nightwish did not die, but he's supposed to respond to that. And do have an Elixir Collector up. He does get the Fire Spear down uh, late, which is good for us. So I'm gonna go Pump again. It's like a pretty conventional play just to pump at zero Elixir. I don't really know why, but it's usually what I see other players do. So let's just set up with the tombstone right here. And kinda wait for him to make a play. I don't think he's like went back to RG yet. Oh no, he actually did. Okay, I'm gonna go battle healer and then we just try to dark out in the opposite lane so I can set the RG. Actually I probably should have played it on the right because he's gonna get a really good delivery off on that. Yeah, okay, so in the dark out mode from the flying machine as well. I think I'm gonna tank that and then just go with a Goblin Giant is a bridge because he has the Night Witch, I think. He doesn't really have anything else in hand. And I'm gonna have my Nato in cycle for the bats. So we're just gonna go Nato now. Hopefully try to kill that as quick as possible. Um, alright, yeah, that's some solid damage. We'll put us in the lead by about 700 HP here. So I'm gonna go pump in the back again. He might decide to just uh, ignore the collector and try to go RG. Looks like he is. Uh, I'm gonna go. Tombstone right on top of the RG because the skeletons are gonna spawn right on top of it. So it's only gonna get like one hit on tower. So I'm gonna work now first here and I'm gonna Elixir Collector again. But I'm gonna place it over here since he can't he can't hit both of them unless he activates King Tower. Alright oh, yeah, I didn't assume he would want to activate King. Okay, so first with RG it wouldn't really be a bad play for him. In case he's gonna spam us, I'm gonna tombstone. And I guess Dark Goblin, so we can DPS that down. We might get some damage, but I think we're up a lot of elixir. And we also have two pumps down, so we're not enough to blame here for sure. So he's gonna wait until he goes Nightwitch. Alright, yeah, this should be a good game. I don't think he has too much to stop this Goblin Giant. Alright, perfect. So this wasn't even too bad of a deck on our end. I think we had a pretty good matchup because he didn't have a great way to break through with the RG. Okay, let's pick Giant because it's 5 elixir. And we're gonna have Pump once again. So all of these are three, but I think I'm gonna choose Fisherman just because it's gonna help against pulling troops away from our giant, which could allow us to, to break through. And this is a tough one. I think I'm gonna go with arrows though, because they're better on offense. And I feel like giant, you kind of need some spells to support it. So let's see here, I guess fireball is probably the best option. And we'll musk recently got a buff, so I think it's gonna be a decent defensive card for us so we're gonna be against who is victor he's gonna give us a good luck so we don't have mm, he's gonna bowler i think we have to pressure opposite here because he just spent five elixir so he's gonna go bomb tower actually our flying machine will bypass that all right that was a pretty bad misplay on his end so we have to late xc all right this is really good for me because i, I think i can activate king tower off his bowler if i play the fisherman correctly I think it's gonna it's gonna activate my king. Alright, nice, yeah. 
He's gonna prince. Oh yeah, this is actually super good. I have enough to play my uh, goblin cage. So there's no way he gets any damage. Yeah, that was a really good start. Um, yeah, and also if he has a like, graveyard or something, then we have King activated already. So it's gonna be pretty difficult for him to make a comeback. And he can probably just set up for a collector now because he hasn't shown a big spell yet. I don't believe. So probably get some decent value out of it. See, I'm gonna place it right now, and he goes bowler at the same time. So I might end up trying to set up for a push here, I'm not too sure. So we're probably just gonna go with a flying machine up high so we can snipe the bowler. Just to DPS it down a little bit. Um, so we'll see what he decides to do. Alright, graveyard, as expected. So we're gonna go arrows. He's gonna freeze, which is a little bit annoying. Probably get some uh, good damage off of that. But I think he won't have enough elixir to like play XE right away. Yeah, our flying machine locks because he just like kind of overcommitted on offense and couldn't deal with our flying machine. So at this point, we can just get like two more fireball arrow off on his left side, and it should be able to take tower. But I'm gonna go with flying machine. I don't really want to take the executioner swing. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna take that unnecessary hit anyways. I think I should just play the flying machine to tank the shot. And I thought we could like pr preserve the flying machine's HP and also prevent the executioner hit. So he's probably gonna freeze again, which is like my arrows on defense to mitigate that damage. I mean, I can probably take his tower here, but I'm just gonna cycle like, musk in the back because he goes bowler. Yeah, I'm gonna pump. He doesn't have a good spell for it, so I think it's fine. And I was gonna fireball that, but the fisherman's gonna pull it away before my fireball would have got down. I think we might be able to go in for a giant here because we have like a bunch of ranged units up. Okay, never mind. It's gonna go very bad. So we can't go in right away. I'm gonna wait till he freezes and go with arrows. And my giant has bridge because he just spent a lot of elixir and I don't think he's gonna have anything to stop this push. I mean, I want to get in the flying machine to bypass his bomb tower. So, five seconds left. Um, yeah, Fishman will finish off the game. So, yeah, we managed to get like a bunch of pumps down and he can't really do anything since he didn't have a big spell for it. Alright, so I lost twice in a row on my main account because I got like two really trash decks. So we're gonna be playing on the mini account for a few games here. And, oh wow, we actually get Sparky, which is one of the best picks in draft in my opinion. And Mega Knight 2, it's actually looking like a really solid deck, not gonna lie. Oh, uh, we got Mega Knight Prince, two cards that synergize pretty well together. Also Tornado does really good with the Sparky on both offense and defense. And I don't think I need to cut this out because he was pretty quick at drafting. So, alright. Yeah, it's actually looking like we have a really good deck. So I think I could probably win. Unfortunately, he cycled his Inferno Drag the opposite lane. I would rather have gone Firecracker same lane. Because he might just be able to activate King here. And okay, he's so gonna go Dark Prince. Just Prince off to the side. He yeah, actually spent quite a lot of things. So I'm gonna go Fireball. So we can... Hit the Inferno Dragon, the Dark Prince. Actually, I probably should have waited a little bit until the Inferno Drag walked up. It's only going to get like 100 damage or so. Um, but I probably could have prevented all damage if I waited a second more. Until it like walked in my tower's range to Fireball. So he's going to Psycho Knight, which is the back. Yeah, he's going to go in. Alright, this is actually pretty bad. So I'm not gonna have enough to Mega Knight. Alright, he's gonna minions. I can't go MK because they're just gonna get shredded by his minions. So he's gonna go Firecracker Tornado. And he's gonna get a lot of damage here. So I'm just gonna pressure the Prince on the right, depending on what he does. Since he's supposed to deal with the Firecracker and the Witch, so I think it's a good play. Ooh, he actually wasted his guards, so we shouldn't have like anything in hand for this Prince. Since guards are like the only reliable counter in his deck. Also, it's like a log, so we can spam the Goblin Gang at the bridge. And yeah, it's gonna be tower down. We caught him in like a horrible cycle. So now all we need to do is like pretty much defend his last few RG pushes. And we can also like stack Sparky in the same lane to make it really awkward for him to try to go Royal Giant into that. So he's gonna cycle Night Witch. We can Sparky up high so he can't really go in. Since that would be a pretty bad play, we could just nano it away. And Sparky would pretty much kill his RG. And not the best Inferno Dragon, because my Firecracker is just gonna kill it anyways. So I just have to like defend for one more minute. 
I'm gonna go Mega Knight in the back since he can't RG when I have my Firecracker up. It wouldn't really be a good play. So let's cycle our Prince in the back here. And his, his Royal Giant's gonna die pretty fast to all my high DPS units. And that was a horrible night which as well. So we cycle his log, we're free to use our Goblin Gang. RG might get like one hit, but not too big of a deal. He actually gets no hit. It's something spark through the pocket. Um, it doesn't really matter if you get the old crown, but it can be useful, like, if you go for a badge in the GT. I don't know if I'm gonna try on this account, but if you didn't know, like, if you're tied in wins with someone, and, you're, and you have, like, a top 1000 badge, whoever has more crowns will get the better badge, which is probably why you see, like, a lot of really good players just use, like, Toxic Eagleum 3 crown decks or Lava Clone in the beginning. Alright, hopping into the last game of the video, looks like we're gonna be drafting... Wow, E-Barbs and Golem. So this actually could be good for us. Ice Wizard too. Mm, I'm gonna choose Cannon Cart. Yo, it's actually kind of like a real deck. Not gonna lie. You have Xe and Skeleton Army. Mm, oh wow, we have Tornado as well. It's gonna synergize pretty well in our deck. Mm, okay, Golem Lightning. Yeah, it's actually a, a pretty good deck. Not gonna lie. Since we have like a bunch of cards that are actually used in in real golem decks. Uh, the XE NATO is kind of like the unorthodox part, I guess. But it still could actually work for us here. So he's in a Mother Witch, which is mm, a little bit annoying. But we do have our Execution Cycle, which is going to take care of all of the bats and the, the Cursed Royal Hog. And XE finishes off his Mother Witch, Electro Dragon. He's gonna spam E Barb opposite lane. Since his E Drag's not really gonna do anything. And he's forced to go Fireball and Log on defense. Fire Spirit 2, I'm gonna spam the Candy Cart because he just like used a lot of Elixir. And I'm gonna Nato the Bats in. Alright, perfect. So this is gonna be a lot of damage on tower. Um, we got him on like pretty low Elixir, I guess. So just like that, first minute of the game, we get his right tower down to 1000 HP. So interested to see what he's gonna have. All right, drill. So skeleton army is gonna be like a decent counter to it as long as he doesn't have a snowball or a zap or something. And that's just gonna be a really annoying mother witch because it's gonna spawn like 10 million hogs from the skellies. But we do have our executioner, which is gonna help to mitigate most of the damage here. All right, yeah, not bad. He's gonna fireball. But actually, it lives at like 1 HP, so it's not going to turn into a real hog. And since he doesn't have his drill and cycle, I can set up like a, a golem in the back. And I don't think it's really a, a punishable play. Especially because we're going the same lane. And we are entering double now, so I'm going to wait on the lightning because he's probably going to play another true. So I want to try to hit as many units as possible with it. Mm, okay, he's in Inferno. We can actually hit everything with the lightning, including the tower. So we're gonna take that for sure. I'm cycling Mother Witch and then nail that in to my golem, so it might die from the death damage. Or at least get damage. Mm, okay, it doesn't mean the ice is gonna pretty much kill it anyways. And that will be power down from the, the golemites. So all we need to do is defend like one or two more drills, and we should be fine. So I think you know, I'm not lightning and don't want to switch an army into two mother witches. That would not be fun to deal with. 1600 HP. Yeah, we have a plenty of HP in our tower. I'm not actually gonna spam him in the pocket just so he might be able to take his tower. And also he can't like put up a push if we're spamming him. But I don't think we're gonna be able to take the other crown, so it's gonna e bug. Actually I'm fine if he takes the tower. I wanna try to get his left left side if possible. Yeah, no, there's not even not enough time. So now I'll do that, I'll just like tower trade if it means I can get more crowns, even though I, I give my opponent a crown. So yeah, it's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna continue to play the draft tournament, like, for real. I just want to do a couple of fun, like, troll-type videos um, to switch the content up for a little bit. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy once again. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.